Becca curriculum is known for its rigor. Is it possible to do their number skills K-5 arithmetic program without purchasing all of the manipulatives and teacher's guide and using the student workbook alone? I have some thoughts on that based on our experience doing that and as well as a review for you today. Hey there, I am Sarah. Welcome back or welcome for the very first time. I would love to meet you if you're new here. So introduce yourself in the comments below. I have been using Number Skills K-5 with my five-year-old who is a kindergartner this year and also with my three turned four-year-old. And so we have experience using this at two different levels on a younger side and on the more appropriate side. And we have loved it overall. I have been using this without any assistance from a teacher's guide, online videos, manipulatives from Abeka or anything like that. We do have our own manipulatives that I will show you that we have used with this. And um, those include things like a balance, so a scale where we are using numbers on one side and counting out objects on the other. This is mostly for assisting my youngest son with visualizing what we're doing with addition. And we have also found helpful just some counting cards, some number flashcards that we have in groups of counting by fives. And we've also used it counting by tens. Then the last manipulative we have used with this program has been a simple clock with the hours and the minutes uh, second hand as well just to help because there is a lot of work with clocks and time in this number skills k5 program Those are the only manipulatives that I have been using and those were things that we had on hand already So I didn't pick up anything really new to use with this program but We have found that we haven't had to add anything else to the student workbook to make it work the reason why this has worked for us is because Number Skills K-5 covers basic, basic math concepts. It is challenging for this age group. So Abeka is living up to its reputation for rigor, but it includes things like addition, subtraction, greater than and lesser than, um, finding numbers that are in between two other numbers, before a number, after a number, sequencing, patterns. Let me give you a look inside of this book as I finish the rest of my review. So Number Skills K-5, one of the very first things that you will notice is that it's super colorful. Uh, children and students who are more sensitive to visual stimuli will not find that as pleasant of an experience, but my boys have enjoyed that there are coloring pages throughout, there are color by numbers, they've enjoyed the illustrations, um, it has made it just so much nicer for them to do math. The page count is 148 of the actual lessons themselves, with several pages after that being supplemental worksheets. Because of that, we have gone to the side of using only half of a lesson per day. So we do a lesson every single day that we do school, just to keep up the math work and the practice and because my boys enjoy it. So we'll do one side of the page, one day and the next day we'll do the other side of the page. Sometimes we actually do both sides of the page if there is like a coloring page on the opposite side or not that much content, tracing numbers um, or just like a poem or something like that. But overall, we have found it to work um, using it every day to get that practice in and then just doing half of the lesson. I should say that my five-year-old, soon to be six-year-old, has had um, part-time preschool at our local school. And so through that, he has gotten a lot of exposure to numbers and math. Their arithmetic program is rather advanced for the American system or even the homeschooling system. And so he has had a lot of exposure to these concepts previously. But the Abeka Number Skills K-5 has gone beyond what he has learned before because it's using U.S. money systems. So that's something else to know. We live overseas. Anyone else who lives outside of the U.S. will find that the money system that's used for counting by tens and ones and fives is 
um, going to be unfamiliar to their kids, but it's very easy to teach that this coin represents 10. Great. And so while I wouldn't just sit him down and expect him to do the entire lesson on his own without any input from me at this level, he has been able to do it for the most part independently with me sitting there at the table with him to help when he has a question. Before we started using Abeko, we were using Kindergarten Math with Confidence. I made the switch because we were getting close to ending um, that program, but also because I needed something that was very hands-off for me as a teacher with a little girl, little baby girl <laughs> around, and then finding out that I was pregnant um, earlier last semester this fall. I needed something that was a little more simple for us. And so number skills K5 was very straightforward. It's a worksheet and my boys love worksheets. So that has not been a drawback for us that it has been mostly worksheet based or all worksheet based. Um, some families will find that to be a drawback, but my kids have actually loved it. Those are my thoughts on the Becca Math for Kindergarten. If you have questions, leave them in the comments below and I will have linked here some other videos for you. See you guys next time. Ciao.